Oh, 14 years ago, Erica Dunlap won the Miss America title. She looks great, right? It was a crowning achievement for the Orlando native, and it's led to an amazing career so far. So Erica's work has gone way beyond the beauty pageant for years. That's right, and she's been getting results for her community, and we see her around all the time, but it's always great to have her mm -hmm. in studio. Joining us now to talk about her foundation, 2004 Miss America winner, Erica Dunlap. Ooh, Welcome hi. back. Hey guys, how are you? And I see you brought your friend. I brought my <laughs> little piece of jewelry. I don't just know who's to more adorn what we're more excited us. about, Erica or the crown? It's usually here. the crown, <laughs> but I am a byproduct of the crown. So. <laughs> I love it. So you're, you're here to talk about the Crown Jewel Foundation. First off, for people who don't know what it's about, you know, why is it so dear to your heart and what is it all about? So I founded Crown Jewel specifically to focus on young women who need to have the skills to be the leaders that they can be. And so many times I, I interact with young women who their parents just don't have time or haven't mm -hmm. taken the time to teach them just basic life skills and basic etiquette and hygiene. And so I take my effort into making sure that they can become successful just by having the basics and then allow them to craft the type of life and the type of career and the journey that they want to. And so do you have things going on throughout the year? Do you have anything coming up with that? So usually we have our um, Summer Leadership Academy, and this year I decided to switch my focus because as an entrepreneur, um, I've been so busy taking care of a lot of other people and a lot of other things that, you know, sometimes you have to focus on the business, of right? Of course, so yes. So that's what I've been doing recently is just really paying very close attention to my business and exactly how I can forward um, my passions and my message to other women. And so um, with the foundation, we do a variety of events throughout the year, and one of the things that I'm most most love to do is to support other organizations that have a concentration on girls and how we are going to going to develop the next generation of leaders. And speaking of ne next generation of leaders, last month we you were here talking to us about the uh, the whole Miss America dropping the swimsuit competition mm -hmm. and and how is that now starting to kind of work into your in kind of your your teachings and your well, I try to impart that physical fitness is very, very important, and it's important not only for how you look, but also how you feel about yourself and your mm -hmm. mental well-being. Mm -hmm. And so as I teach people about confidence and about etiquette and how to be their best self and how to present themselves well like a queen would, right. um, the, the swimsuit competition for me was just that. It helped me to gain the poise and the confidence to be fearless enough and vulnerable enough to stand in front of people in my swimsuit and still be able to command attention in the right way, you mm -hmm. know? And I think it's really important that people know that there is a very positive aspect to taking care of your body and making sure that you're physically fit as well as mentally fit. And you competed in season 15 of The Amazing Race. Yes. It's a show that's still going. Do you reminisce about that? <laughs> I'm so glad I never have to do it again. Um, <laughs> I it always was said amazing. I wanted to try it. And when we talked about that, I was just like flabbergasted. You've done it. You know, it's, it's amazing. It really is. I am so glad that I had the opportunity to travel the world and to see parts of the world that I never even thought of. I mean, I went to Estonia. I mean, of course, I've heard about it, but right. I never thought I would go. Um, we finished our journey in Las Vegas where I scaled down the Mandalay Bay face Whoa. first. So talk about scary stuff. Um, my father's a roofing contractor and he told me once, he was like, I can't believe you got on that. I would have <laughs> never gotten on a building that tall. <laughs> it's like, you know, so um, when I think about the amazing opportunities that I've had, uh, being able to bring them back to my hometown and to um, impart those things to the community, um, to young people of all backgrounds. It's just a really great, um, great honor for me. So if someone's at home watching and they say, I want to try to get involved, this is such a, uh, you know, great, a great thing to do for, for women and, and young ladies, how can they get involved? So one of the things that I advise people to do is, first of all, go to the website, crownjewelfoundation.org, and you can find out more about what we're doing and how we're helping the community and helping young women. But I also am, as I mentioned, focused on helping other, more seasoned women. And so um, my, my most recent... Um, Venture, which I'm really excited about is the boss lady suite. Ooh. I help boss ladies who are women entrepreneurs who need to get out of the house and find a way to focus their efforts on their business. And um, the space is a co-working space for women entrepreneurs specifically. So I'm excited to offer that as well. So that's bossladysuite.com and uh, people can find out more about how they can become a boss lady. 
like myself. I love it. I love it. Yes. And it's just when you talk about these things, it's just, I mean, it, you just have this big mm -hmm. smile on your face and you, your shoulders go back and you're so proud of it. I mean, what really just made you want to start doing this? Well, I think it's important for people to feel good about who they are, feel good about um, what you can contribute and feel good about your purpose. And I found my purpose a long time ago when I was 21 years old and not just through being Miss America, but I was focused on being the very best person I could be at that time and I was working out every day and I was forming my opinions and I was listening to opposing um, opinions and I was deciding exactly who who I was and what made me tick the way that I do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't take the time to do that. And they don't develop themselves. They allow other people to develop them. So I think it's uh, it's really important that we forward that and pay it forward to other people and help them to find their confidence. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for pouring into the young ladies with all of your knowledge and wisdom and mm -hmm. as well as helping give back in the community and, and helping other women be strong thank like you. you as well. Thanks thank for you. being you part of this. You girls look beautiful today. You look fabulous. Doesn't she look great? <laughs> thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> you trying. You got it. Be the best get, version you know, of yourself. Go, That's go it. Check out the boss lady. <laughs> and like get that. some more info. Come on over. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Erica.